Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to solve for that variable of x in one-step equations. To do this, we need to remember inverse operations. Inverse operations, or opposite operations, are the operations that undo each other. Addition is the opposite of subtraction. Multiplication is the opposite of division. We're going to see this again and again and again in all the examples that we do today. We need to remember that, that those are opposite operations. Now let's start solving. To solve for a variable of x when you're given an equation like this, you have to follow three steps. I know you can look at that and probably tell me that 3 plus 2 is 5, but we're going to follow the same steps every time, and you'll see that if you know these steps, it'll make it easier when the equations get a little bit more difficult. Step number one, find the variable. Our variable is x. The next step is to say what happened to x, or what is attached to x. In this case, what's attached to x is plus 2. That's what we're doing to x. We're adding 2. So now is when we need to know that inverse operation. What's the opposite of adding 2? Well, it's subtracting 2. We know that addition is opposite of subtraction. So we are going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. That keeps the equation balanced. So on our left side, we have x plus 2 minus 2, which gives us just x by itself. And on the right side of the equation, we have 5 minus 2, which gives us 3. There we go. x is equal to 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. And we're going to follow these steps for all the rest of the questions that we do. Let's look at a question involving subtraction. Same steps. Find that variable. Our variable in this case is x. What happened to x, or what is attached to x? Well, we have x minus 7. Good. So let's do the opposite of minus 7 to both sides of the equation. In other words, instead of subtracting 7, we are going to add 7 to both sides of the equation x minus 7 plus 7 leaves us with x by itself on the left side. And on the right side, we have 12 plus 7. 12 plus 7 is 19. We're able to solve the equation. You can check your work now. Look at the top. Is 19 equal to x? Does x minus 7 equals 12? Or in other words, does 19 minus 7 equal 12? you check your work, you'll find that that is correct. Now we're going to look at a question with division. A good thing to do about this time is to pause the recording and try one of these on your own. Following the same steps, here's what we do. Find that variable. In this case, our variable is n. It doesn't matter what letter you use. You can put any letter in there. We used n this time. What happened to n, or what's attached to n? Divided by 3. n divided by 3. So what is the opposite, or the inverse, of dividing by 3? Multiplying times 3 is the inverse. So now what we will do is multiply times 3 on both sides of this equation. Notice I use the dot to represent multiplication. That's common. You'll see that more and more as you get into higher levels of math classes. So n divided by 3 times 3 leaves us with just n on the left side. And on the right side of the equation, we have 71 times 3, which gives us 213. For our final question, we are going to use the equation 5y is equal to 30. Step number one, find that variable. In this case, the variable, or the letter that we're using, is y. Step two, what happened to y? We just have 5y written there. It doesn't say 5 minus y, or 5 plus y, or 5 divided by y. When you have a letter next to a number like that, it implies that you are multiplying. So what happened? We multiplied times 5. So let's do the inverse, or the opposite of that, and divide by 5. So we're going to do that on both sides of this equation. 
5y divided by 5 leaves us with just y on the left side, and 30 divided by 5 will go on the right side of the equation. 30 divided by 5 equals 6, so that's the final solution for the variable in this equation. As you're looking through this, remember the steps to find the variable, ask what's happened or what's attached to that variable, and then do the inverse or opposite operation to both sides of the equation. I hope this lesson was helpful for you, and have a wonderful day.